How about now? How about now? Hey, handsome. Welcome to Cooking with Nay Nay. And Murray. This is episode four and a um, special episode. It's our first guest cook tonight. We're going to be making Mamaw Sweet Tater Pie. And this episode is brought to you by Gardening with, with Randall. Randall. Speaking and, of. And speaking of, Randall's going to be our guest tonight. And he's going to be making Mamaw Sweet Tater Pie. Before we get started, though, just a couple shout outs. Once again, Heather Hansen. She made biscuits from... Uh, the last episode and posted pictures on the on their on their page and, and they were pretty. And then Adrian Emery Emery made strawberry pie posted on the page. And that one's mine. <laughs> this cute, adorable apron that I am wearing tonight. Queen Bee. It says Queen Bee, and is that not appropriate? Because we got, because the, king we got the king bee here. Keeper. Is, yeah, the king bee keeper. Anyway, I bought this from Lang General Store, langgeneralstore.com. They are located in Steelville, Missouri. They have some cute little things, so just head over there and check it out. But speaking of bees. But <laughs> speaking of bees, we're going to have, we're going to do a little bit <laughs> recipe change tonight. Oh, y'all was wondering what was under this dish rag right here. Oh, I here. forgot about that. We're You're... gonna be having Lord, don't tell turtle me. hot pie. Oh, God, we and are sweet not... tater pie. We're not having any kind of turtle pot pie because that turtle is this dead. This is Frank. <laughs> this is Frank. You've lost your mind. Now this is just one of our menagerie. We've got. Uh, some stuffed animals around here. Oh, Frank, he's got, got a little. Eyes. Yeah, he got beady eyes. But anyway, I would just thought it was kind of funny. We thought it was funny. So we're taking Frank away. All right, take Frank away. All right, now what everybody's been waiting on. Come on, Randall. Come on over here. Further, no further ado. That's right. My sweet, loving brother-in-law, Randall Cagle, whom I <coughs> adore. Go ahead, door. Hey, door. Hello, everybody. Just remember this this episode of Cooking with Nana and Murray is being sponsored by Gardening with Randall. You can catch me on my Facebook page, pretty near all the time. So. Uh, Come over there and we'll teach you how to do some gardening. Or you can teach me how to do some gardening. Whichever way you want to do it. So, and if you ain't caught his last episode, you ought to. It was a pretty neat one. He's doing his beekeeping. And uh, that was a pretty interesting episode. So go That's back. Right. Check it out. Pretty neat. You can see the queen bee. They was honeybees being hatched. Coming to birth. Right in our site. And... We even eat some fresh honey right out of the hive. So. Oh, all right. Here we're we going to talk about this uh, this tater pie. There's a difference between a pie and a cobbler and a custard. And all three of them can be made out of taters. Now, this right here, if you bought them, it'd be called a sweet potato. But in the country, it's sweet tater. And my mamma. And Nathan's mamma. Our mamma. Our mamma. And my other two brothers' mamma. And my other six cousins' mamma. And uh, her name was Alice May. May Weaver Cagle. And she was raised up in the Carter K uh, portion of Gilmer County, up above LJ, near the apple orchards. And. Uh, so uh, she she was country woman, and uh, and she she was famous for her tater pies. And what we're making tonight is a tater pie. Now you can have a tater custard, which is kind of like a pumpkin pie, or you can have a tater cobbler, 
which is a deep dish and it's got dumplings in it. And all three of them are good. Now, I'll tell you right now, I ain't going to turn none of them away. But tonight is Mammal Sweet Tater Pie. Now, the ingredients that we're going to use tonight is, of course, sweet taters. And butter or margarine, whichever one you want to use. Crisco, flour, and water. Now, I'll tell you right now, I know a lot of people make tater pies. But when Mamma made a tater pie, <coughs> they wasn't nothing in it except butter and sugar. And I know some people want to put nutmeg and cinnamon and uh, allspice and all that stuff, but not not Mamma's tater pie. And she didn't use no Crisco. No, she used lard. And no pig fat. Yeah, and she did that. Uh, but uh, so all we're gonna use is sugar and butter, and it don't take. Many sweet taters to make sugar and butter taste good. And you'll find out out here in a little bit. All right, first thing I'm going to do, we already got our tater filled. Now, my mom didn't have one of these, but we do, and we're going to use it. And uh, got your tater. Called a mandolin slicer. You know, just like that out of the way. And we're going to show you. i tell you this thing. The thing is like better than sliced bread. Oh, get a manic. Oh, oh, dad, gum. Oh, no. Cut his finger, though. Y'all ain't right. First of all, y'all are both medics. <coughs> well, speaking speaking our mamma, she was a pistol. There wasn't much foolishness going her on. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, she always, like I say, everybody at church, she was known as Miss Alice or Sister Alice. And all us grandkids and Great went to, her, well, to, her, to her, her son and daughter, she was known as Mama, Mom. And all the grandkids and the grandkids, wives and the great-grandkids and great-great-grandkids, she was known as Mama. <laughs> but to my Mama, she was known as Miss Cable. <laughs> That's a whole long story. And if Tim and <laughs> Tracy, y'all 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 don't understand yeah. this. That really hurts my feelings for Florine too. <laughs> but I think I you had no memo. Right. Because they just wasn't nobody good enough for for our daddy. <laughs> yeah, he was he was uh he was a mama's boy. And uh and and my mama or our mama would do anything for my mama <laughs> that she could, but she it was always Miss Cagle. Yeah. And uh, so that's the way it was. And we're going to tell Mamaw's stories. Now, on my gardening with Randall, I'm going to have Mamaw's plow on there. And uh, we're going to have a little episode on how to use Mamaw's plow. And I still have her plow. And, uh, and I use it in my garden every year. And I've already used it this year. But, uh, but some things Mamaw would do... And uh, and some of the things she would say, some of the stuff, well, it's kind of, what was some of that, what was that story you going to tell? Let me just tell you. Here, let, let, let you me just have them. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. No, All right, I got three story, cups, I got three cups of self white. White Lily. Our, one of our other sponsors for this. <laughs> no, one. it's not. <laughs> if it ain't white lily flower, self rising, it ain't flower. But we got three cups in the sifter. Three cups of white lily flower. Now, okay, go ahead. In the sifter. In While the sifter. he's sifting this, I'll tell you this story. This is after my mom. She broke up housekeeping. On, we lived on Cable Road. If you don't know where Cable Road, where the castle is on 140, about halfway down is a big old white farmhouse. That's where my mom. If you want to Google where it's at, Google Cable Road Castle, and you'll know where we used to live. And uh, so when she moved down to a little uh, duplex in Roswell, and she'd walk up to the she'd walk up to the um, Chinese restaurant. One uh, cup of Crisco. One okay. cup of Crisco. And uh, 
she'd walk up to the Chinese restaurant because she couldn't drive. She tried to drive, but that's a whole different story. But she walked to the restaurant, and Daddy and them days always kind of kid her about Chinese restaurants serving cat. And she, and she loved her some Chinese restaurants. But she was in there eating lunch one day, minding her own business. It's a couple sitting over there next to her. They was eating. And she overheard them say, boy, this is one tough cat. And whatever they had, the meat was tough. And they said, this is one tough cat. And she got up, she left that rest, Chinese restaurant, and she never went back. She was convinced that they were serving cat at that restaurant. <laughs> and as much as that woman loved Chinese food, yeah, that was uh, that was uh, that was the and we could never convince her any no. any different about it. Water. Now, y'all y'all know what this is. This is a pastry cutter, and I'm cutting in my Crisco and my flour. Is anybody watching us? Maybe a couple. Just how many? How 20, many? Twenty-one. Hey, twenty-one. Kevin, y'all need to call your Kevin friends. Kevin Kennedy you know, and you get your grandkids. And there Annie, ain't nothing else on TV. And Kevin says that's a pretty purple shirt Randall's wearing. Look at all my patches. Yeah, Randall's got all his fire department. Got my fire department patches. Now, see, you couldn't get away with that one anymore in the Cab County, but uh, that one used to be from. Uh, from Station Four in DeKalb County, but that's not politically correct hey, anymore. Judy. But anyway, uh, so let me just take the camera and come over there and show yeah, everybody over here, get over here. what your dough is looking like. Sorry, y'all, getting a little crumbly. And then see how his potatoes—they're—they're they're very thin sliced. Hey, Marnie. Okay, moving right along. I'm gonna mix some water. Now, all you got to use is cold water. And now, I don't know how much you use. Okay. Just use some until it's... That was a cup. Yeah. And that, it may have to get a little more. I mean, we're going to... A little less. A little less. But we're going to add some flour to it here when we start Sorry, it on, the, on the board here. You want to make your crust short. As the old timers used to say, where it's heavy and and uh, and shortening and light on the milk, so uh, you want it to be short. And any any kind of recipe you have for pie crust <coughs> is good enough. But this is just a simple and, pie crust. And if you want to use store bought pie crust, you can use store bought sheet pie crust. Just have to roll it out really, really thin. But uh, like I say, we're going to make it as close as we know how. Does it have milk in it? No. no. Oh, okay. Just, just water. Just water. Okay. He's just going to knead it. Are you done with this? How neat. Yes, I am. Knead it up. Heat it up. And then eat it up. Lord, you too. I mean, I mean, man, I, when you don't know, uh, Randall's number two, I'm number three, and we got one brother, Stanley, that's number, he's number one, he's the oldest, and uh, number four, Stinking, I'm Stephen. He's adopted, But he's though. adopted. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? <laughs> Tell no, us. Tell him why you say that he's adopted. There's yeah. first of all, there's nothing wrong with being adopted. No. But second I'm all of all, for it. they're mean brothers, is what they are. Well. Tell him why. We're not that mean. We just aggravated him when he was a little baby just to make him cry. It didn't take much to make him cry either. But, but anyway, we love you, Stinky. I'm mean, Steven. Hey Deb. And um uh, who? Deb Mont oh. Montanaro, all the way from Rhode Island. Rhode Island? That's where them chickens come from, so them Rhode have, Island Reds. How about how that? Much, how much older are you than, what year is you born? I was born in 56. I'm 10 years four, older. Than, you're four years older than me. <laughs> right. Stephen Cagle says to y'all stop. <laughs> 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 Stephen Cagle. 
Stephen, I was taking up for you. I've always taken up for you. We love you, brother. Yes, brother. we love you. Love you. But, um, yeah, but I was probably about six or seven years old, so I made Randall about 10 and Stan about 12, something like that. And that was, I always played what you with. Need? Go ahead. I always played with the older boys. And uh, they was out there. We had a, we had a, we lived on a little farm. We had a, we had a, a cow that just had a calf. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Now. Yeah. It's horrible so, is what it is. So we was out there petting that little old calf. Down, down at the creek. Yeah. Well, we was up on the hill. Up on that hill going down towards the creek. Yeah. And uh, that mama seen us over there petting her baby. She didn't take she didn't take kind to it. She here she come a running. I'm talking about a full out run. She was a Jersey milk cow, and she had horns. And here my brothers go, they go running, and get down to the creek. And this creek is pretty deep and it's pretty wide, especially for a six or seven year old. And they jump the creek, and here I am. I can't jump no creek, <laughs> and I'm crying. One. They said, lay down and lay down and play dead. Lay down and play dead. I didn't have nothing else to do. This, this cow was hot on my heel. So what did I do? I laid down and play dead. And that cow come up and she put on the brakes. And she come right up to me and she snorted, sniffed at me. And I was just praying, dear God, just don't let this cow stomp me. And they, they, they just turned around and walked off. They was over there just dying laughing. Thought it was funny. It was funny. <laughs> that's just, that's just, you know, things that are funny is funny. That was funny. It Looking wasn't, back it, on it, it was funny. It's funny now, but it wasn't funny then. It wasn't funny then. It was funny to us then. Were y'all laughing? Oh, yeah. yeah. What were you doing? Crying. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> See? All right, we got, All right. we got a stick of butter. And I'm going to just kind of take a little of this butter. Some Lord, of this butter. There is so much butter in this that y'all aren't even going to know what to do. Uh, Stephen said, I actually said kiss my grits is what he said, not stop. Oh. <laughs> wow. Well. All right. So All right, here we go. Buttering it up. Rolling up the... See, and he's got half his dough reserved over there. Let me come over. For the top. And it don't, it ain't got to worry about all these holes and making it look pretty because. Because we're going to tear into it. Because you can just tear it off and patch up the holes. And... Watch this. Never at a time does my fingers ever leave my hands. Watch this. Today. I'm impressed. I'm oh. duly impressed. Okay. Now, now what? Now what you gonna do? Now take some taters. Taters. We gonna make a layer of taters. Sweet taters. Hey Tim. What do you, what are you take doing a stick over there? Of butter. Ooh, Lord. There's three sticks of butter in this uh, recipe. So. Hey, Melly. Stick a layer. Yep. So what are you doing? You just kind of just making a layer, pinching that off. Layer, yeah, because it's too soft to cut. Last last thing I made, it was it was cut, but it's been setting out, and uh, so the butter so, doesn't have to be room temperature. No, 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 because no, it's it's going to be oven temperature here directly. Well, that aren't same you thing just at a while? At a while? Yeah. Crocodile. Yeah. And, uh, okay. All right, so you got now, your stick of butter now on there. Layer of taters, a layer of butter, and here comes. Now, I ain't telling you how much sugar to put it, but I let your conscience be your guide. But you're going to make a layer of sugar. And when you think you got enough sugar, just put another little bit on there. There you go. Just like I said, it don't take many sweet taters to make butter and sugar taste good. So, That's right. <laughs> there we go. 
Now, get another layer. Judy um, Kearney was saying about how Mamaw's sweet tater pie got gone pretty fast. Can I tell? Yeah. yeah. I mean, because Mamaw, kind of like me with chicken and dumplings when we have lunch at church, Mamaw always took the sweet tater pie. Always. And everybody would be wanting, Miss Alice, Sister Alice, where's your pie? Because. No, you, Mrs. Cagle. Well, that no, was no, that, no mama. It, at church it was Sister, 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 sister Alice. Only Mama had to call him Miss Cable. And, uh, yeah, we only. Second stick of butter. But, uh, because if you didn't get sweet tater pie on your first pass when you was getting your meal, they wasn't, uh, it was gone by the time you went and got dessert. Because so. this was the size that she made. Same, same size Pyrex dish that she made. Can I interject something here? Kevin Kennedy has said that it's good to have three sticks of butter because it's actually biblical. And there is a verse in Isaiah, I don't know if he's this, I'm sure it's true. So Isaiah 7, 15, butter and honey shall he eat that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. Mm, I'll take that. I do too. Yeah. Okay. Yes, right. Wanda, it will make you slap your granny at so good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to, when, when we get to, when, when this one comes out of the oven, I'm going to tell you how good it is, but not till we start eating, so. You just have to stay tuned. That's right. Just add a little more sugar. Because you didn't have enough the last time. Well, you know, they were stored about, about all the old timers, whether it was Mama or Mama. And because, uh, you know, back when when we were kids, Mama and Mama and all the old timers, you had a fork and a spoon and a knife. Now, it wasn't like these fancy restaurants you go into where you got four or five forks so you don't even know what to do with them but you had one fork you had one spoon and one knife and all the old timers would always say keep your fork because the best is yet to come and when you when they said that you knew that the sweet tater pie or coconut cake or an apple cobbler, or strawberry or pie, like that was coming. So keep your fork because the best, best is, is yet, yet to come. come and I even tell the old folks that's looking to go on to be with the Lord, keep your fork, keep your fork because the best is yet to come. So now we're gonna make our top crust. Don't drop us on the floor, Murray. I'm not. I'm sorry, Emma. My skills tonight are a little shaky. Melanie likes to, she likes your measuring skills. Don't need Melanie no measuring Cagle. device. Melanie Cagle. Melanie Cagle Bushy, yes. Is she Bushy? She is. She is now. She's Bushy. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you right now, Mama didn't have no recipe. Mama didn't have them. Not the many of them. Now, Mama... Mama loved recipes. Now, oh gosh, she, uh, when we cleaned it out her house, we found recipes that she, she loved. She'd buy recipe books and just sit and read, read, read recipe books. Uh, or hours. That's, but, that's what I do. I buy recipe books and read them. That's as far as it goes. <laughs> Isn't it, Nathan? Yeah, pretty much. Because Nathan does all the cooking. But, Mama, she didn't, she didn't have... If she had any, uh, I don't. I don't know. It was always lard biscuits. Lard, lard biscuits, and lard. I mean, yeah, lard. cat head, cat head lard biscuits, pink stall, and uh, they sure were good. I like me some lard biscuits. Lard biscuits. You know, on Sunday lunch, I could about make a lunch on because she always had mashed potatoes, mashed taters. But lard, some about a lard biscuit and 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 a bowl and a. Mashed potatoes is just good to me, but uh, but Mamma was one first one that got us boys drinking coffee. Mm -hmm. And Grandpa she had Weaver. A, she had a coffee pot that was about this tall, and and it had the percolator thing on top. But it wasn't no plug in. You put it on the ah, you put it on iron. It boiled and it percolated and percolated. It was about that tall, and she let us. She'd let us have uh, coffee when we'd spend the night with her. And she'd be making her coffee in the morning. 
and she had put about that much coffee and that much it's milk up. and let us put as much sugar as we wanted in it. And that was Mama, because we just lived next door to Mama and Papa and Aunt Sis and Rick and Tim Damn. and uh, Granddad, Grandpa Weaver. Yeah, there. he was he was up there too, and while well, as long as he lived and uh, and. So our yard was their yard. We had a big corn patch in between, but we spent as much time at Mamaw's as we did at home. And so we went in Mamaw's house. We went to the cabinet where Mamaw always had ginger snaps and lemon snap. And then later on, she had Mamaw cookies. Or she had homemade tea cakes. Yeah. In a, in a, in a flour sack. Yeah, and... But we knew exactly where the stash was, and she never told us we couldn't get into none of it. So, you want to get the crust as thin as you can. You can read the newspaper through it, almost. Yeah, if you can. <coughs> but, uh, let's see, I think I got go. it. Look at that. 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 All right, we need to do yeah, a little close-up camera work yeah. or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I ain't got a knife. You want to do here? I'll get the knife. Look at that. You know what's going to fold her up? Yeah, I'm going to. Get on over here close. There's no magic to this until we start eating when it all disappears. Dun, 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 dun. Just rolling it there. out. How pretty. One minute. When One the minute. roll is called. No, that's a different roll. That's roll. Lord. Yeah. Where's the, where's the, where's the knife? Where's the knife? You went to get him a knife, Nathan. Knife. Knife. We could uh, sing Once There Was No Gray Mare. That's one of daddy's. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Well, Mamma would get in there to cooking, and she'd sing, Mother's Got a Home. Oh. I can't sing it. I'm going to get to crying. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. Mother's no crying. Home, no crying. Home. Mother's got a home, sweet home. Lord, I want to join the angels. Beautiful home, beautiful home, home, home. Beautiful home, sweet home. Beautiful home, sweet home. Lord, I want to join the angels. Beautiful home. And... And she'd sing that, and she'd put a lot of different, you know, father's, father's got, a, got home. a home, and brother's got a home, and sister got yeah, a home. Yeah, so it just, it could just go on and on. And and then, of course, she, she liked to sing her a lot of fossil law, and she was an alto singer, and she... And Christian she, Harmony. Chris, yep, Christian Harmony, and she'd shake get in there cooking note. in the kitchen, note, yeah. and uh, and she'd, she'd be... She could she could sing her some songs. She loved her some alto singing. Yep, she sang she sang mountain alto. It wasn't your typical alto. She and you notice here, getting back to the pie, just there's another whole stick of butter. Three, 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 three. Sticks count of them. Three. He cut a few little vent holes on top of this pie crust, and then put enough. And watch this. You didn't think that was enough sugar? Watch this. I have to say, I have to brag here just for a second. We just had one of the best compliments ever. And it was from Kevin Kennedy. And he said that we are the modern Andy Griffith show. <laughs> and I think that is a excellent comment. Now, going back, and I'm going to have to, I got I gotta wash, wash wrench your hands. Right, I gotta right. Mama would say I gotta right, right my hands off. Tell them the story, Nathan. Well, you know, back in the day, I mean, it, this was taken for lunch, but it wasn't called lunch. It was dinner. Dinner. And dinner, everybody thinks dinner is supper time, but dinner is at the evening meal, but that's supper. So you have breakfast, dinner, and supper. That's why they had the dinner bell. Because all the men were out in the field working, and they rang the dinner bell. So, anyway, just the explanation of the dinner. Okay, now the magic of TV. Yes. Watch this. 
the magic of TV. What's this? Ladies and journeymen, lend us your ear. Woohoo! Look at that. That's nice. Hold on, let me get over here. It's okay, you can put it on the stove. This happened to have one that's ready. You can just, We're going to put it over here in the middle yeah. of the table. That's fine. Just set it in the middle of that flower and stuff. I don't think that'll hurt it. Because yeah. we're going to start to partake of us some mammal tater. Yeah, give us some of our nice uh, silverware. Do I get any? On our oh. Vaseline glass. So that's probably my mama's error right there. Yeah, I'm sure it is. In the 20s and 30s. You eat potato pie with a fork or a spoon? Fork. Because the best is. Because the best is yet to come. See, uh, we need a fork. Work. The best is yet to come. Do we need a serving spoon? We need a dipping. I will get that. Dipping there. spoon. Well, you know I'm not gonna miss out on this. Well, you know, little, little. I just want a little, little child's portion. We're gonna start right here. It's a tiny, tiny. That's not a child's portion. That's a hog's portion. Mm 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 mm. Oh. I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> this here is so good. You could put it on the top of your head, and your tongue would beat your brains out trying to get to it. <laughs> How about that? that was a That's pretty preacher, good. preacher C. Wayne Claytonism. <laughs> he learned me right. some talking, and, and that was one of the things he learned me. Oh my goodness talking. gracious! Do I have to wait on y'all? No, go ahead. I mean, go go ahead. Yeah. Show them up close there, Murray. Murray. How about that? Can y'all see that? That's what it's going to look like. And let me tell you, it smells fantastic. All right. I'm holding it too long because I want to eat. Mm. Mm. Here we go. That's all. Mm. Plus, cheers. Cheers. We're to my mamaw. Yeah, cheers to mamaw. Cheers to mamaw. Oh, excuse me. Mrs. Cable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, mm. if you've ever had candied yams, mm -hmm. this is candied yams with a crust on the top and bottom. I'm going to tell you. That sugar makes it so crunchy. Oh. You cook it at 400 degrees for about, about an hour or until it's golden brown. Let's check on it. It's good, <clears throat> good bubbling on the, in the middle. Hmm. You don't put no water, don't put no milk. You put water in it. In the crust. Oh. But there ain't none in the, in the pie. No. It's all butter, sugar, and goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. As Andy would say. I'm telling you. That ain't be nope. that. That's good. I ain't be that. <laughs> that's so good. You are Go so through the ingredients and instructions again there, Randall. All right. Mm. Three cups of white lily. Self-rising. Sifted flour. One cup of Crisco short. Mix them in together with a pastry cutter. pastry cutter and get it all mixed up good. About a cup of water, cold water. Mix it up. Get it all mixed together. Get it rolled out. Knead it up real good and stiff. And roll it out thin as you can thin. Kind of grease the bottom of your Pyrex dish with some uh, butter. Butter or margarine. Either one. We use margarine at the house. But... And uh, I don't know how many sweet taters you need, but you need plenty. So uh, just make sure you have plenty. And uh, and then, like I did, a layer of taters, one stick of butter, 
and sugar. Another when, layer of taters. When you think you got enough sugar? Just put a little more. Just a little more. And then? Hang on a minute. Oh. I'm busy. <laughs> Uh, Terry said to tell Aunt Deborah she wanted to see her face tonight. <laughs> she said, I see you. <laughs> All right, so where were we? Y'all were doing your oh, layers. No, no, they just. It's good. Ah. Good to the last bite. Mm, mm, mm. Here, I'll take the plate. Mm, no, 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 no. You gonna lick it? You gonna lick the plate or no. you gonna have a little more? What was we at? All right. Oh. You're doing your layer. Grease them a layer of potatoes, layer of butter, layer of sugar, then how many layers you put in there? It's, it was uh, three. One layer, layer of potatoes, butter, sugar, tater, no, two, two. Four. But three, three sticks of butter because one stick goes on top, and then you put that sugar up here on top, and that just good crispies up at the... Uh, Makes that crust yeah. crispy, people. Uh, mm. Make the slap come on. Mm, mm. Oven temperature. 400. 400 degrees. About an hour. Somewhere around there. I gotta give me something great. About 45 minutes to start checking it. When it's good. Woo, it's still hot. When it's good <laughs> and brown. Called fire department. You know, just kind of keep it. Keep an eye on it. But I'm telling you what, you like sweet potatoes. You like, you like butter and sugar. And if you don't, something's wrong with you. That's right. And next week, you want to tune in. We've got another special guest. A couple special guests. Maybe two. Yeah, cook next week. We're going to be going remote. <laughs> We're taking the show on the road, people. But you're going to have to tune in to see who it is. I ain't going to tell you. So you have to tune in next Thursday night at 7.30 for episode number, I guess five. it's five. I, I guess it's it. five. Yeah, no, right. this was four. Four, okay, five. And you need a secretary to keep up with all that. But um, once again, this episode is brought to you by Gardening, Gardening with, with Randall. Randall. When's your next? Uh, uh, I don't know. He uh, just gets on there when he feels Well, it's like just it. kind of, I'm just, yeah, because uh, it's too too wet to plow right now. Too windy to haul rocks. That's right. River's too wet to plow. Too windy to haul rocks. Y'all ain't riding ahead. And, and I just probably not going to anymore. But, uh, yeah. But I do have a bunch of plants I've got to transplant, and uh, and I do appreciate all the uh, information that everybody's been giving me, and I always tell everybody, you know, send me your questions, your comments, your snide remarks, they all I I appreciate it. And, uh, share, 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 folks. Absolutely, yes, please. Well, one of these days, somebody asked me if I was going to go big, I said, well, I couldn't go to YouTube. We, as a matter of fact, we are. We are on, on YouTube. YouTube. Like us on YouTube. <laughs> and we're cooking. on Instagram. Instagram. It's cooking. Well, let's see. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't remember what it is exactly. I'll post but YouTube it. cooking, when they name her, we just take this recording and just upload to YouTube. We've got, I tell you, this is how many followers we got on YouTube. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> change. Oh my god. I'm so embarrassed. Actually, I think we might have one now. Oh, me. No, it's me, actually. No, no, that's it's, I think it's actually Jane Kennedy. But uh but if you don't but if you know somebody that don't have Facebook and they want to you tell them about it, tell them to check us out on YouTube. They can anybody get on YouTube and they got a computer. You don't have to be on Facebook. So we're just uploading our episodes to YouTube. So it'll be up later this week or over the weekend on YouTube, probably by the end of the night tonight, knowing this wonderful lady right here. And She's, yeah, seeing as we got the recipe from last week posted like right before the show started tonight. But anyway. We'll try to do better about that. We appreciate everybody coming out tonight. I think yes. we had over 30-something at one time. We, we did. We, we, we love you for it. 30? 
Yeah. It should have been more than that. No, oh, I think there ain't like nothing Sunday. else on TV. You got that right. So, ah. and the words of Cassilois. Cassilois, Glennis Boss Gilliland would say, be somebody. In the words of Raymond E. Cagle, we love you and, and don't, don't you forget, forget it. it. Yeah. yeah. Happy cooking. See you next week. Yes. Love you. Thank you, Randall. Ah, appreciate we enjoyed it. it. Yeah. Bye, y'all. Come back when you.